My name is Holly and I come from Lakes Grammar. My major design project is an acoustic diffusion panel. It is a very small compact design that can be increased and decreased in size. Um, the aim of the project is to diffuse sound, so the sound in the room sounds more whole when recording. Um, the idea also reduces room noise and unlike your typical diffusion wall panel, it uses non-invasive techniques to be hung onto the wall. It has small magnetics, magnets attached to the bottom of it that allows it to be attached to whiteboards so it can be used in a classroom, it can be used in a home. Um, because it's non-invasive, it can be used um, in a rental home, a small studio, um, anything like that. Um, because it's small, it can be adjusted as well. It, they're singular, singular little panels that can be compacted down. Um, you can put as many on the wall as you like or you know, it's less, it depends on the size of the room um, and what you've also got in the room already. My inspiration and identification of need came from working in a small studio. I saw the need to design something that was small and compact. So I started off with just basic sketches. It um, actually started off with egg cartons and the idea that um, people put egg cartons on the walls as diffusion panels and they also absorb sound because they're such a light material. Um, but I also found out that um, they'd already proven that this was incorrect, so I decided to move on. Um, I liked the ideas of triangles and I thought that it was a very modern idea. So I started um, drawing triangles, I started modelling triangles. Um, you know, I did little ones, I did big ones. Um, at this stage they had no joints, they were just fixed. Um, then I got to the problem where, you know, it needed to be compact. After researching today's market, I saw that there was a need also for more than one function. People also look for eco-friendliness, things like that. So I thought if I got a wood that absorbs sound, it could kind of do two things at once, whilst also having absorption panels as a partner for it. Um, I also looked at different techniques, different saws, different... I'm very, I was very new to the whole working with wood. Um, so I had a lot of aid from my teacher, um, which was very helpful. Um, so yeah, it was just about finding the right techniques after I found the right wood. The original wood was polonia wood, which was a soft wood, but it was too expensive for my budget. Um, and I decided just to go with um, plywood, just to demonstrate, you know, what it could do. It, in, in testing, it did work. Definitely the main problem was um, figuring out how the joints on the triangles, each face of the triangles would move. Um, I looked at hinges, but the hinges were very bulky. Um, there's barrel hinges, which are very small. I looked at those and they're also very expensive. And for my budget, I was, I was decided not to use them. If I was to give advice to Year 12 students in design and technology, I would definitely say time management, but also make sure you have motivation in the beginning. It's very, I know it's difficult in the beginning, you think you've got lots of time, but really just sketch, you know, do models. I found that because I, I was very lax in the beginning that there were things in the end of the project, like my final evaluation, that really suffered because of my lack of motivation. So yeah, really get motivated in the beginning, you know, try everything you can do. So that's that's my advice.